It's an ecotourist's dream. Ecotourism is tourism that is non-harming, that preserves the natural environment, and Belize is actually at the forefront of the ecotourism movement. They are very particular to make sure that they are providing a tourism experience that is both wonderful, but also very much going to preserve their environment, their ecosystems, and their place and their culture. Basically what it is, leave no footprints. What you would do is you go check out the different places in around the world, and you don't let them know that you've been there. Ecotourism resorts have sprung up in the past few years, but the first and still popular is Chaw Creek Lodge, a private 340-acre nature reserve in the foothills of the Maya Mountains. We were, in fact, the first jungle lodge in Belize and the first ecotourism lodge, but that was before eco was even eco. We opened in about 1981. It was $4 US a person a night. They had to cook their own food. And uh, it's been a sort of a steady progression over the course of time. Interacting with nature is a way of life here, including one flight of fancy, the butterfly farm. We have a butterfly farm where we raise the, uh, the blue morpho butterfly and also a, uh, another species of, um, of called the owl but butterfly, Caligo. Butterfly farm, something not to miss in Belize. You get to watch the metamorphosis of the butterfly from cocoon all the way to beauty. It's absolutely exquisite. Belize is the cradle of Mayan civilization and has more Mayan ruins than any other Central American country. But if you see just one, see Zunantunich, or the Stone Lady. A major ceremonial center, Zunantunich has six major plazas, surrounded by more than 25 temples and palaces. The most prominent is the Pyramid El Castillo, rising 130 feet high above the plaza. The short but steep climb to the top of El Castillo provides a dramatic 360-degree panoramic view over the jungle, all the way to Guatemala. To check out more Mayan artifacts, take a cave tour of Actun Tunachil Muknal, which the Mayans believed was the mouth of the underworld. The journey isn't for everyone. You have to hike through jungles, wade through rivers, swim through the mouth of the cave. But it's worth it to see the treasure trove of Mayan artifacts. And if you think that's the end of your Indiana Jones adventure, think again. Amber Greek Key, the largest of Belize's 200 offshore keys, stretches 20 miles along the northern edge of Belize's barrier reef making it a diver's dream and home to Shark Ray Alley. The Ambergris Key is absolutely a diver's delight. There are a plethora of spots for you to jump off and snorkel and scuba here. It is not to be missed. If that's your thing, you must make this your destination. The sharks and stingrays come right up to you and you can pet them. You don't have to worry about losing your arm or anything because they're used to tourists coming by and they're pretty friendly and they know that you know, you're bringing in tourist money.